Aishao lived with his descendants in Mount Sheir, with the Hori, the inhabitants of the land, and they had chiefs and kings in the land of Adom before a king reigned over Yisrael. This is Aishao, the father of Adom. Bereshit, Genesis chapter 37. But Jacob dwelt in the land of his father's sojournings, in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Jacob. Yosef, being seventeen years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers, and he was a lad with the sons of Balaha and with the sons of Zelopah, his father's women. And Yosef brought the evil report of them to their father. Now Yisrael loved Yosef more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a tunic of covering to palms and soles. And his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, and they hated him, and could not speak peaceably to him. And Yosef dreamed a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him yet the more. And he said to them, Here I pray you this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright. And behold, your sheaves came round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf. And his brothers said to him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us, or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it to his brothers, and said, Behold, I have dreamed yet a dream, and behold, the sun and the moon and eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father and to his brothers, and his father rebuked him and said to him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brothers indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? And his brothers envied him, but his father kept the saying in mind. And his brothers went to feed their father's flock in Shukum. And Yisrael said to Yosef, Are not thy brothers feeding the flock in Shukum? Come, and I will send thee to them. And he said to him, Here I am. And he said to him, Go now, see whether it is well with thy brothers, and well with the flock, and bring me word again. So he sent him out of the valley of Hebron, and he came to Shukum. And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I am seeking my brothers. Tell me, I pray thee, where they are feeding the flock. And the man said, They are departed hence. For I heard them say, Let us go down to Dortain. And Yosef went after his brothers, and found them in Dortain. And they saw him afar off, and before he came near to them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him, and cast him into one of the pits, and we will say, An evil beast hath devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. And Reuben heard it, and delivered him out of their hand, and said, Let us not take his soul. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood. Cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, but lay no hand upon him. 
that he might deliver him out of their hand, to restore him to his father. And it was, when your Seph was come to his brothers, that they stripped your Seph of his tunic, the tunic of covering to the palms and soles that was on him. And they took him, and cast him into the pit, and the pit was empty, and there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and behold, a caravan of Yishma'elim was coming from Galaad, with their camels bearing spicery and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Mithraim. And Yehuda said to his brothers, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Yishma'elim, and let not our hands be upon him, for he is our brother, our flesh. And his brothers hearkened to him, and Madianim, merchant men, passed by. And they drew and lifted up Yosef out of the pit, and sold Yosef to the Yishma'elim for twenty pieces of silver. And they brought Yosef into Mithraim. And Reuben returned to the pit, and behold, Yosef was not in the pit, and he tore his clothes, and he returned to his brothers, and said, The child is not, and I, whither shall I go? And they took Yosef's tunic, and killed a he-goat, and dipped the tunic in the blood, and they sent the tunic of covering to the palms and soles, and they brought it to their father, and said, This have we found. Know now whether it is thy son's tunic or not. And he knew it, and said, It is my son's tunic. An evil beast hath devoured him. Your Seph is without doubt torn in pieces. And Jacob tore his garments, and put sackcloth upon his loins, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted, for he said, For I will go down to Shaul to my son mourning. And his father wept for him. And the Madianim sold him into Mithraim to Potiphar, an officer of Paraoz, the captain of the guard. And it was at that time that Yehuda went down from his brothers, and turned into a certain Odolami, whose name was Hirah.